Hi guys, welcome to my shower routine for sensitive skin. To start off, I am using this mild baby wash by Equate. So I got this from Walmart for literally just a couple of dollars and I love it. If you have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend this soap. While I was in the store, I actually used my Yuka app just to scan it and make sure that all of the ingredients in it were good and they were and I have been loving this soap. I definitely love using this one or either the Dove Sensitive Skin for my body. And I like to use soaps that are for sensitive skin because I do tend to break out on my back and my arms, so I cannot use scented soap in those areas. So I definitely love using this soap. So if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend just try a baby wash because it is made for babies and yes it will still get your body nice and clean and honestly I just love the smell of baby wash like it smells amazing now I'm just going ahead and cleaning my legs you want to make sure that you are getting those feet and those toes good do not forget about the lower half of your body your legs are very important to clean along with your feet so I'm just using my washcloth to do that I also really like how this soap lathers up for it to be a baby wash I feel like it lathers up very nicely so I would definitely recommend just trying a baby wash after that I'm going in with my Dr. Bronner's Pure Castell soap this is the Baby Unscented. Again, this is great for sensitive skin. It smells very clean. Like, it does not have a strong scent at all. And it doesn't really smell like a baby scent to me, but it just smells very clean. And it will get your body very clean. And since I did use a baby wash as my base soap, I want to go in with this just to make sure that I'm getting my body all the way clean. So... I am going ahead and using this all over my body and one thing that I like about this soap as well I can use it pretty much all over and I will not have any issues so that is definitely a plus when finding a soap that is for sensitive skin and now I'm just making sure that I get my whole entire back I do work out so with sweat and all of that it's important to make sure that you're getting your entire back if I don't get my back nice and good I will break out so I try to make sure that I really take my time with this area now I am just rinsing off all of the soap And now I'm just going ahead and cleaning my legs again with the Dr. Bronner's soap. And I'm just doing the same thing that I did beforehand, just making sure that I'm getting all of those areas. Like I said, especially those feet. You want to make sure that you get in between the toes. Make sure that you clean all of it. Just all of it <laughs> nice and clean. Now I am using the Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash and I'm using this for my downstairs area. This soap, I love it so much for my downstairs area. It works really well. And now I'm going in with my Panoxo. So this I like to use for my back and my arms because like I said, I do have acne prone skin. So this right here, you guys, it has really improved my body acne if i use it it definitely helps with the prevention but also if i am breaking out it definitely helps to go down which is amazing and i think honestly this is the only one that i've used that i've actually really have noticed a difference with my body acne i've tried the neutrogena one years ago i feel like it really didn't make a difference but this right here you guys it works so well with my body 
And now I'm just going ahead and rinsing off that body wash. Now I'm going in with my Coco Culotta Shea Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. And I'm just using this to exfoliate my skin. So I'm putting it over my arms and my belly. And I really love the scent of this Tree Hut Scrub. This is definitely one of my favorites. So I'll definitely recommend it. And now I'm just going ahead and rinsing off that scrub from my body. And now I am using the scrub on my legs. I love exfoliating my legs. And one thing I will say about the Tree Hut Scrub, I'm not saying this is the best for sensitive skin, but I use it in the areas where I'm not too sensitive at. So for me, that's my legs, my lower arm, and my belly. Those are the areas that I can use this scrub, and I have not had any problems. I don't use the scrub on more of my sensitive areas, like my back and my chest because I do break out in those areas. And now it is time to get out of the shower, so I'm just putting on my towel. Now that I'm out the shower, I'm using my Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This lotion is great for sensitive skin. It doesn't really have like a strong fragrance in it, so I'll definitely recommend this. And for me, when I am putting lotion, on my back and my chest I cannot use something that's too scented because I will break out so this lotion for me is just a great lotion to use it doesn't have any scent to it but you can always add some perfume or add a scented lotion in the areas where you aren't too sensitive at if you want to add a bit of a scent to it but this is the lotion that I would definitely recommend if you have sensitive skin. So I'm just using this all over. I'm making sure that my legs are nice and moisturized because I do not want to be ashy. And for my deodorant, I am using the Dove Sensitive Deodorant. This one has the 0% aluminum, which I really like. So I'm going ahead and just adding that to my armpits. And for my perfume, I'm using the Pink Pineapple Sunrise by Bath and Body Works. And this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this shower routine. Bye!